Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to show you the full glam look. So exactly what I do when I'm going to record videos or go to a photo shoot. This is not my everyday makeup because it takes a lot longer than I'd like to spend doing my makeup, but it does um, create that look that I do like for photos. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd share it with you because I get a lot of questions on Instagram about doing a makeup tutorial, what products I use. And again, like I'm not a makeup artist. This is an amateur doing her own makeup. So first of all, I've already put some moisturizer on. If you guys want me to do a skincare routine, comment that below. And I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of toner. This is just a DIY toner that my friend made me. She has like this really great blog, which I'll link below. It's all about DIY products that are healthier alternatives, more natural, so it's really, really good. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to start with my eyes because otherwise if I start with my foundation, then sometimes the eyeshadow will fall in onto my skin. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of concealer on my eyes just to kind of prep them. So the first thing I'm gonna use is this Born This Way concealer and this is very, very white um, concealer. It's definitely meant for like sculpting. So I'm just gonna put that uh, a little bit on my eyelids. Just like a, a dab, just a little bit, because a, a little goes a long way, otherwise you become super pale. And I'm just gonna take a beauty blender. I love beauty blenders, I use them for so many things. And I'm just going to rub that all in. It is important to have like very moisturized skin, I think, before you're doing your makeup because if your skin is really dry, it's gonna show what the overall finish of your makeup. So now I'm just gonna go in with um, a little bit of setting powder, just a little bit on top of the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this Kat Von D translucent and just a little bit with just a little eyeshadow brush. And because of my hair color, I'm using more like reddish, pinkish, brownish colors in my for my eyes. I just find that it looks, it just matches well and I like it. So I'm gonna start by just going in the crease with a little bit of brown. And this is from this palette, the Nude Beach palette. I love this palette. So I'm gonna go in with this brown. And then I'm also gonna go in with some of these colors in a little bit. First, the brown, and I'm gonna do that just in the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the lighter color, the, the pinkish color. And I'm gonna put that in the crease as well, just a little bit. That's how it looks. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Tarte, this palette, this is a highlighter palette. And I'm gonna go in with this light color here and I'm just gonna put it on my eyelid on top here. So I really get that glow. And then I'm gonna blend it in again, just the crease. Now I'm just gonna start working on my eyebrows. So for that, I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury. So the Charlotte Tilbury pencil. This is in Brooks. And the eyebrows for me are the hardest part. I never get them equal. So I try not to be a perfectionist about it because it never really turns out well for me. Partly because my natural eyebrows, they're just not the same. I've had microblading before, but even with the microblading, it wears off and then I lose the lines. So I start on the tip here and I do a line down and then I start and then I go underneath. Okay, and so now that I've gotten them like semi, <laughs> Uh, even I'm gonna go in with some concealer to define the brows and just kind of touch them up a bit I'm gonna use the young blood concealer in medium 
And I'm just gonna use a little brush like this. And I'm just gonna go around my brows. So kind of like outlining them. So for my foundation, I'm gonna be mixing a couple colors. I'm gonna be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 5.75. And I'm gonna mix it with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation in seven medium. Just a little bit of each one. This one's just a darker color and that one's just a lighter color. So I can kind of get that perfect match. And I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend it in. And this beauty blender is damp, so I've already gotten it wet. It's important. Okay, so I've got a good base of foundation now. So now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm gonna use that really, really white one because that really gives that airbrushed effect, I believe. And I'm, again, just putting a little bit because if you put too much, you will end up looking like a ghost. So one dab under the eye, the chin, a little bit here, a little bit there, and a little bit there. And then we'll assess if we need more. I'm using the same beauty blender to blend it out. So it's basically highlighting different areas of my face without actual highlighter. So I am gonna put a little bit more under my eyes. Here, here, and a little bit there. And I'm gonna use a smaller beauty blender for this area just to make it a little bit more compact. So now that I've got that, let's get the bronzer and the contour. So I'm gonna use this contour stick. Um, this is, it's rubbed off, but I believe the brand is, I think it's Too Faced but basically any kind of like brownish orange contour. And I'm putting it all over the areas that I wanna look snatched. My nose, my chin. So I'm gonna go in first with a little bit of this, just on this type of brush, and I'm gonna go in contouring so that I can have more of my definition on my jawline so for that i go right under the jawline and i go right behind the jaw almost where my ear is this makes the biggest difference when you do profile photos okay, gotta take this off so blend it out back there and then with the rest, I'm gonna be using my beauty blender. And the beauty blender, I'm just going to blend like crazy. You're kind of blending into the hairline. I'm actually gonna use the Iconic Illuminator. So this stuff is really amazing. It's really good on your collarbones too if you're doing a photo shoot. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of it, because a little goes a long way. And I'm going to blend this. So it's just gonna really give that illumination, that glow. And also just a little bit on the tip of my nose. My lips. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with that Kat Von D setting powder and just put some wherever I put the concealer. And if I already have creases, I'm just gonna rub that out before I put it in so it doesn't set in those creases. And then I also, um, I'm gonna put in some cream blush just on my cheeks as well. This is just um, 
This is Palladio. I got this from Sally Hansen. I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, there we go. So the contour is coming along. Now I'm just gonna go in with this um, glow palette again, the Tarte Glow Palette, and I'm gonna start mixing some of these colors. Um, I'm gonna take this non-shimmery color first and I'm gonna go around all the contour areas. And again, the jawline to really give that um, definition. And now I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush and I'm gonna use some of the shimmery contour and go over some of the same places. Now I'm just gonna put some more highlighter, which is just the powdered highlighter, not a ton. I'm just gonna put a little bit over here. In here. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to be using a liquid liner. This is called Duo Stroke. No idea where I got this from. Probably the drugstore. There's a thick side and a thin side. I'm going to start with the thin side and end with the thick side. Switch over to the bigger end and do a little bit of a, not a cat eye, but just a little bit of a line. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with some of the eyeshadow that I used on the top. I'm gonna do it right here underneath. And for that, I'm just gonna use a brush like this. I just find that this just kind of helps kind of conceal bags under the eyes and also helps make the eye color stand out. I'm just using a little bit of the gold uh, in the creases on the same palette. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go on with some mascara and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I don't need to put too much because I'm going to be putting false lashes on. And then a little bit on the bottom as well. Oh, and I'm going to put some orangey type blush on my cheeks. This is Chick Cheek, another drugstore brand. And I'm just going to put that on my cheeks with the same brush that I used for my Highlighter. And I'm not going to just put it right here. I'm going to put it along the line so that we're elongating the face instead of looking like little button cheeks. Okay, so the camera stopped for some reason, but I put on my lashes and I'm just going to finish up with my lips. So I'm using this um, lip pencil by NYX. And I'm only slightly overlining. There we go. And now I go in with my lip color. And today I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one. So this is the Tarte Rose. pretty much I think all I do so let me know what you guys think obviously it takes a lot longer to film it and talk about it than it does to do it I would say this takes about a half hour but yeah this is not everyday makeup there's a lot on me I feel like there's a lot on me but yet when I look at other makeup tutorials there's even more so maybe it's not actually that much I'm not sure but yeah, so this is kind of what I do when I take pictures and record. And remember, it's always about the lighting and the angles. If you have good lighting, your makeup's just gonna look a lot more flawless. If you know your angles, it's also gonna look a lot better. So it's not just the makeup, it's knowing how to pose, knowing how to take your shots, um, knowing what lighting is good. Like for example, right now I'm in front of the, cap the window, so the lighting's better than if I were to be like this, right? Or like this. 
so in front of the window gives you more light and it just gives you more of an airbrushed effect. All right, ladies, that is it. Comment below if you guys want me to do a skincare routine and I will gladly do that. Other than that, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and if you've already subscribed, there's this little gray bell symbol. If you hit that, then you're gonna get notified when I release new videos. And if you wanna keep watching, I've handpicked these two videos for you to watch right here.